Hey what's up guys welcome back to another video and in this video we'll be taking a look on the latest Oxygen OS based on Android 8.0 that is Oreo which was released two days back and I've been using this ROM since two days and today I'll be giving a complete uh, feedback so guys I have been using this ROM since two days and I find it pretty stable I have got many messages regarding the bugs few people say that it is very buggy so I would request you guys to make a clean install installation of this room because uh, if you are upgrading from a previous version that was uh, 7 android nougat and when you have a uh, complete uh, change of android i always uh, prefer doing a complete wipe so that will help you in clearing the previous data and writing new system files so in this video i'll be showing you about the battery backup and we'll also take a look at features and the benchmark test uh, what i have done on this build and we'll compare it with the previous nougat version that was 7.1.1 so guys first we'll take a look uh, on the battery stats what i have got so i'll just go back to the home screen and i'll show you the pictures or uh, screenshot what i had taken previously so in this you can see this was my first cycle after using it for a day and you can see the screen usage time was 3 hours 32 minutes and I had 15% of battery remaining. So actually it is a very good screen on time for me as I am a very heavy user of the device and if I am getting 3 3 and a half hours of battery backup then it's really great uh, normally I don't get so much of battery backup. And it's a first beta version so guys uh, just wait for another build maybe you will get more improvements so now let's take a look at the things which are new on oxygen os based on android 8.0 that is oreo there is not much of changes i found on system ui it is pretty much same as previous android version but hope we get some fresh look in upcoming updates now let's take a look at the features so first thing what i like is that is app shortcut so you press on the app and you get the shortcut of the application it was available in the previous version also of android that was 7.1.1 and you still have it on android 8.0 just few customizations done in this it helps you in saving few clicks uh, to go inside the application or to check the notifications next we have the notification dot so this was a feature which was included in this version that is uh, notification dot so i have uh, not explained it in the previous video so this thing is what see I, as i have a notification dot which appears on the right top of the application this dot will appear whenever i have any new notification on the specific app so as i have installed geekbench 4 on this um, device so that notification comes over here so let's take a look at some other application like gmail so i long press and you can see the previous mail which i have got and which is not read by me appears over here now we also have a redesign notification drawer which has six tiles over here and if you slide it down you have four by three tiles available so the next feature is picture in picture mode many people are talking about uh, picture in picture mode guys i'll tell you exactly what it is that works great on this without any kind of issues as of now it is not working on youtube application so if you want to use youtube videos on picture in picture mode what you have to do is you open your chrome and request enable request desktop site so once you do that just open the video and make it full screen so i'll just show you that also you make it full screen and then just tap the home screen button and you can see the picture in picture option comes on your home screen so next we also have autofill service which can be found in settings you go to settings type autofill and you have autofill services so this is the one autofill with google so this allows you to autofill your username password on any application but make sure you have given the right permission and once you give the right permission i'll show you an example of that as i as i have a page manager over here in this if i tap here and i tap this email id you can see i get my email id and the password which is already been saved by the application or the autofill by google and the next feature what we get in android oreo is when you slide down you get a very good animation over here and if you have any kind of notification you can snooze the notification 
and you get a snooze time you can set 15 20 or 2 hours and uh, this is and if you set any time the notification will appear after the time set by you so these are the things which i normally found it in latest version of oxygen os that is oreo and we also have many missing features of oreo like navigation bar tuner that is not available in this adaptive icon is also not there and we don't even have redesigned settings ui so this is also like previous version which was available for 7.1.1 and it is still the same in android 8.0 and also guys if you are worried about the performance i would say that there is no issues with that beta room performs as good as stable android nougat which was the previous version there is no issues what i have found few lags yes we can expect as it's a new beta version fingerprint work as fast as it was working in the previous build so you don't have to worry about the fingerprint camera takes good pictures no issues about the camera whatever mode you select manual mode and everything works great in this no issues about the camera it is still capable of getting some great photos so then the last one what i'll show you is the benchmark test so benchmark test i have already done you can see the results uh, that single core is 1802 and multi score is 3420 and towards your right hand side you can see that was taken on the previous build of oxygen beta which was based on android 7.1.1 nougat on that single core was 1827 and multi score was 3935 smart results have come down in this uh, build that is based on android oreo but as it's an initial build hope we get uh, better results in upcoming builds so guys these were the things in this video and uh, one more thing friends subscribing to this channel is free of cost so do not forget to subscribe the channel if you like the video do give me a thumbs up so guys that's all in this video for now see you soon have a great day